So you know how I like to buy cheap stuff from China, including my stockpile of Arduinos. Now, one downside of that that I've stumbled across is occasionally you get one that uh, isn't quite as awesome as you'd think. But when I get them, the first thing I do is I'll plug them in, make sure that they've got the factory loaded blink sketch in them, which these ones do. But the these two, out of all the ones I've ordered so far, don't have a bootloader in them. So when I try and load my own software on, I get an error. Now the bootloader is just a little bit of code that hangs out in there permanently that allows you to load new code in easily and quickly just using the USB port. Now the the uh, 18 mega 328 chip on there doesn't speak USB, but most of these cheap clones have a CH380 on the bottom, which CH340, which is a USB to serial converter. So this USB to serial is a CH340, and that's what I use to load uh, code into my uh, uh, what is it, a Pro Mini that's driving my little sign back there, because it doesn't have that on board which makes them a little bit cheaper. Cheaper by basically the cost of that one chip. That's a digression. But even those guys will have a bootloader on them. The bootloader is the software that allows you to use just the basic seri USB to serial to dump onto the chip. So these guys, for whatever cheap reason, don't come with that. So that's my project du jour. And apparently, according to my reading, there's couple of different ways you can load it on there. The the one way is to use another Arduino as an in-circuit programmer. Um, now these this little six pin header here and here uh, is called ICSP in-circuit system programmer. That will let you dump the uh, the bootloader into the chip or you can actually just put a sketch directly into the chip bypassing the whole USB serial thing. Um, if you need to, to use every single byte of memory in there you don't need the bootloader taking up space you can just do it that way. Not gonna do that I'm, I'm not writing that complicated a code. So um, there's six pins on here's power and ground is two of them um, then there's a, a clock, a serial clock, and a reset. And then there's MISO and MOSI. Uh, master in, slave out. Master out, slave in. So, basically, it's a transmit and a receive pin. So, the out has to be connected to the in. The in has to be connected to the out, right? In the default uh, demonstration sketches that come with the Arduino IDE, there's a sketch called Arduino as ISP, or Arduino ISP, Arduino in circuit. So basically, this becomes the programmer, and this gets the programming. The, there is a second way of doing it, and all uh, using a thing called a USB ASP, this, um, which just it's adapts down. It's got a little six-pin chip on it and it just drops straight onto there and into USB boom done. Um, I'll do that later but first I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do it quick and dirty as is my style. So the first thing is obviously to load the programmer sketch onto onto the Uno which takes very little time. Then you gotta wire it up um, according to a million and one diagrams you can find on the internet. And I'm just going to pause while I do that, uh, just to make it a little bit quicker and more efficient. Okay, one correction to what I said before. Uh, MISO and MOSI. MISO on one board connects to MISO on the other, MOSI on the other connects to MOSI. Uh, so, master out, slave in, and master in, slave out. They go straight across. They're not TX and RX. 
If you're doing serial TX and RX on pin 0 and 1, then you have to cross them. Or if you're doing it like this, you have to cross, transmit, and receive. But here, MISO goes to MISO, MOSI goes to MOSI. Okay, so I've connected it up, uh, and in the sketch, it's also got these three LEDs coming off. Uh, what is that, pin 7, 8, and 9, I think it is? Yeah, pin 7, 8, and 9. 9 is heartbeat, uh, 8 is error, and 7 is programming mode. So now that I've got this all connected up, this thing's still doing its its old blink sketch that was burned in from the factory. This one's got the I, Arduino as ISP. So next, you go over to Tools and select in Programmer. Select Ar Arduino as ISP. Then you select the board that is your target board. In this case, it's the Nano. So I'll pick a Nano. Chug, chug, chug. And I'll make sure that I've got the right Nano. 18 Mega 328P. I do have some 168s, but this is a 328. So that's correct. And then... You just cross your fingers and click burn bootloader. And you watch the lights blinking over here. And I got an error while burning bootloader. Okay. So why did I get that? One moment for investigation. So the first troubleshooting step it says is to make sure you've got the right chip. AT Mega 328P is what it says there. And yeah, so why is it giving me the wrong one? Hmm. Huh. Well that's going to take a bit of troubleshooting. It may have something to do with the software on my laptop or it might be something else. So in the meantime, let's try this other method here. So I've got this USB ASP set up as a jumper for three volts or five volts. I've got it set to five volts, which means it should be able to just power that. And it is, and it's got its old blink sketch going. You can sort of see it there. So let's hold these two guys in place here and zoom in just a little bit. And over at the laptop, we'll change the programmer to a USB ASP. And there's still Nano, we're still 386P. Let's try burning. Things are happening. And it says done. Okay. So now then, we should be able to write a program onto this one. Let's just power that guy on. So there's no sketch in there. Nothing's happening. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I've got a sketch written that I, it's basically the blink sketch twice and I changed the speeds on half of it. So I called it double blink. And I'll upload that. Notice it says Arduino Nano uh, 386P uploading, done uploading. There's my sketch. Notice the kind of staggering blink. So there we go. That worked. Okay. So I declare this USB ASB to be a lot more simplified and a lot easier than this method, which does work if you've got all the right software. For some reason, I don't have the right version of AVR dude according to 
which is part of the Arduino installation. I'm not sure exactly. That's code. Code is messy. I don't like code. Um, this does work. I've seen people do it, but this is so much quicker, more straightforward. Now then, if you don't want to solder pins on, you can still make it happen just by using jumpers from here to the six, uh, six positions, mozzie, meso, serial clock, reset, power and ground. And actually, I think I will do that with this one just to get it done. Okay, so here's this one set up. Because the pins from the ICSP header are duplicated from the standard pins, I can just connect it up like that and it should work the same. I've got the same, uh, same setup over here. I've got Nano as the target, 18-3-2-8-P. USB ASP and burn bootloader. Bang. Error. Shit. So I had the clock plugged into the wrong pin here just because I pulled the pins out and yeah, whatever. Okay, let's give this a try. Tools. Burn bootloader. It was complaining for a little bit, but it looks like it's done it. But the proof is, can I upload my double blink sketch? Which I modified slightly just now. Zoom in. Upload. Compiling. Uploading. Done uploading. Double blinking. Woohoo! So, this USB ASP seems to be the way to go. And as I said earlier, I could also use this to directly upload a sketch. And I'm not going to do that. That's not what I'm about today. This was simply getting these two working so that I can use them for another project, which will be an upcoming video. Maybe next week, maybe later, depending on how good I am. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've never seen this done, I hope you learned from my mistakes. Um, so you don't have to repeat them yourself. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave it down in the comment section as usual. I will talk to you later.